Hi y'all, my smack here today and today I'm be teaching you and educating you and announcing Starbucks new blonde espresso and I'm super excited to show this to you guys and introduce this to you guys because I'm so excited and it's something that's never been done to any other coffee place. So Starbucks, Starbucks is introducing our new blonde espresso which is a new espresso machine for every Starbucks in the world. Um, it's never been done before and I'm super excited that Starbucks is going to be the first one that does it. So kind of going through what is different about the blonde espresso, why is it different than the normal espresso? One, it's a lot less intense. Two, it has a nuttier flavor. Three, well, it's just better. And you should definitely try it. It launches, I'll take my calendar. I'll let you know. It is launching as we speak on January 9th of 2018. And I'm super excited because I'm kind of be going through and teaching you what's different about it, what's going to be changing about the normal drinks about it, and why you should be excited for it. So first off, if you're a blonde rose drinker in the morning, you know we cut it like at like 7. We cut it. <laughs> not even sometimes 9 or 10, but we cut it very early because it's not a very popular drink. So now you can get it whenever you want, which is super exciting for you because I know the frustration. I'm a blonde drinker. It's annoying. You have to ask for the pour over and then I don't, you don't want to do the pour over because it's annoying to do the pour, pour over. You don't want to wait 20 minutes. I don't want to get you frustrated and I just, it's, it's frustrating for everyone. It's just whatever. But now, we can fix that. I can offer you an Americano, any drink you possibly could imagine, I can make this blonde. I can only do up to two shots. Actually, I can do as many shots as you want. It might take a little longer, but the machine is gonna take a little longer than normal because right now we aren't, we do not have actually, disclaimer, a little in depth on it. We only have blonde espresso. We don't have decaf blonde espresso yet. Just letting you know, in case you're a decaf drinker, I'm sorry, but gotta stick with the decaf espresso but hopefully it will come soon if it's popular enough they will bring it and we're gonna have to get a whole new machine which i'm not complaining about getting a whole new machine for because <laughs> us baristas kind of like our equipment a little too much Possessing. but anyway going into it so the blonde espresso has a nuttier flavor as i said it's less intense than the normal espresso um i don't really like how Intense our flavors are um, for our espresso, our normal espresso, um, especially for our, like our americanos or something like that. Lattes, well, it's okay, um, but for the americano, if you tasted it, it's very bitter and it's very intense. Not anymore. I really like the blonde in the americano. I had an ice, tall and iced americano with it in my training, and it was really, really good. I really like the nutty flavors in it. And don't worry if you want to put some flavors in it. The citrus isn't really noticeable so it won't interact with any of their flavors um so it's really really nice i think it's really smooth which is what they're going for and it's a really really nice bean like it's a really nice bean i actually really like it so definitely do it if you're a blonde drinker try it anyway if you're not i mean maybe you'll like it maybe you'll find something you've never had before and that you love and now i've just created a fetish with your life and you're finally obsessed over starbucks because everyone should go to Starbucks. But going into, so the changes that we're gonna be making for the drinks are um not not big at all. We can do as many espressos as you like, the normal of the thing, you can add triple, quad, and whatever you want. Um, we can do it in red eyes, you can do it in black eyes, the normal thing, nothing changes. The only thing that is going to be changing is the amount uh, that goes into it. So the espressos stay the same, but the syrups are changing. So just to let you know, if you order like a, let's say, a grande white mocha, Okay, now let's do a grande blonde white mocha. We're going to do one less pump than the normal thing. So if it's a grande, now it gets three. It's a venti, now it gets only four. So it's definitely, like, it's a lot less because it's not as intense as the espresso. So you don't need as much. Um, so if you do want the extra sweetener, let your barista know, hey, I want the full pumps as for the regular espresso than I want for the blonde. Just let them know I want the full pumps, not the one last pump and you might want to try it the first time see if you like it because it is less intense so you may not need that extra pump as normal i'm um, going into the rest of it um what is it and how do we make it so it goes to the same thing um as our regular expensive machines if you've probably seen it if you've gone to our starbucks um the only difference is that we are actually needing to get a new machine for this we didn't get a blonde machine with it i wish that'd be 
are amazing if Starbucks is watching us. You should give us all espresso machines. Hey, hit me up. Um, but no, it's definitely going to take some time to get used to. Your baristas are going to be really stressed about it because it does have a big process. Instead of now just being able to pour shots, we have to rinse and after every shot so you don't get the, the cross contaminations. We didn't really do that with decaf because it was the same bean. It was just um, less intense. Like it's it's actually more intense than the regular bean because it's it's more washed than normal. Um, so it wasn't really a big deal. But now that it's a completely different bean, it's a completely different fa flavor. We are rinsing in between. Um, so if it tastes a little funky and it doesn't in your blonde drink, you know what blonde tastes like, and it tastes a little intense than normal. Ask your barista if they rinse in between, and if they didn't, that's why. Um, but going into that, it is in a same, it's in the decaf container. Um, so you guys don't know, our bean hoppers, which is also our espresso holders, if you guys don't know. Um, I'm using barista lingo, I'm sorry. Um, but it has the decaf holder inside. Um, and that's where we're putting our espresso beans now. Um, so we only have, like in my store, we have two espresso machines, so one's decaf, one's blonde. So now it's kind of the thing of, okay, one person's going to have the decaf, one person's going to have the blonde, and it kind of makes it a little more hectic for us, but not a problem with you. Just letting you know in case it's a little longer than normal, like the first week is probably going to be a little hectic, and it'll probably take a little while because they're just not used to it, and they... It takes a lot of time to register, it's a lot of things are rinsing now, and it's adding pumps, and it's doing all these things. Um, so, just be patient with us, we're trying our best, and we're going to try to give you the best blonde experience we can. Um, but going into it, um, how we make it, so we do the normal of our, our rose. Um, nothing's really different about how we make the, the drinks. We make any drink you would like, like normal. You name it, we make it. Um, so it's not really any difference about that. Um, nothing changes. There's no special drinks for it. Um, nothing out of the ordinary, just one less pump than normal. Um, but that's pretty much it about the Blonde Espresso. I mean, it's really good. It's nutty. It's not a, as a citric, uh, as, not acidic. It's not as citrus-y as normal. Um, and I feel like Blonde normally hits at like the tip of my tongue. And the, like the blonde rose, I feel like is so much smoother than normal for blonde, and I really like that. Um, so that's the introducing the new Starbucks espresso. So I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all later.